And welcome back to Cooking with Mrs C. Hope everybody is well and keeping safe. Um, I've got clean hands, wash them for 20 seconds still and hair is up, aprons on and we're ready to cook. And today we're going to make our own version of a pot noodle. Now I know a lot of you like pot noodles but if we eat them a lot they're really not that good for us. And the way that we can tell is by having a look in the ingredients list. All right, and if I look on the ingredients, I can see that the second ingredient that's listed on that pot noodle is salt. So if we look at the ingredients, whatever is in that food, it starts off with the ingredient that is in there the highest, and then it goes down the list. So if salt is listed as number two, it's very high in salt. So it's really one of the reasons that we shouldn't eat a lot of these processed foods because in the long term they're not that good for us but we all like a noodle and we're going to make our own today okay let's get started so the first thing that we need is a container something that's going to hold our ingredients just like your pot noodle carton would all right doesn't matter that it's clear and if you've only got a bowl you can do it in a bowl okay but something that can be covered and where we can put everything as we go along and the first thing that I'm going to put into my container are some noodles now these are just what I had knocking about in the cupboard all right these are whole wheat noodles I think but you can use instant noodles you know the ones that you get in a little packet but what you mustn't put in is the little sachet that you get with it because we're going to make our own flavorings because if you use those instant noodles that sachet is essentially made up of salt all right to give it the food the, to give the food the flavor but we're going to use a few more natural ingredients to give our pot noodle the flavor that we want so these noodles just get broken up a little bit and go in the bottom of your container like so okay and then we're just going to start layering up with different vegetables and a little bit of protein whatever you've got in your fridge and you'll see what I've got in a moment you can use so long as that vegetable is cut very very small because we're not going to cook this pot noodle as such it's going to have some heat from some water but we need to be able to cut our vegetables very small so that they can go in our container and we can just eat them all with a fork. So we're going to use our knife skills to prepare lots of lovely vegetables. So remembering our techniques, the first one I'm going to do is my carrot. Now, if you've got a grater, you can grate it. Or if you really want to practice those knife skills, we can, using our bridge, remember, cut down our carrot and make some thin slices. Okay, and then I'm going to do what we call julienne, which your, the year 10s will know this. It's very fine matchsticks of carrot. Very, very fine. See how consistently you can cut them. We want them thin because we want them to heat up very, very quickly. So we've got little matchsticks of carrot and they're going to go into our noodles. So just see that again, the claw or the bridge to get those carrots very finely sliced. And in it goes, like so. Okay, next I've got some tomatoes. I'm just going to use three tomatoes. Now I'm doing this for one person, but you can just double up the amount of veg that you use. And I'm just going to quarter these. So think about your ingredients as you're using them. Think, are they an animal food or are they a plant food? And up to now, with the noodles and the carrots, 
and the tomatoes, you can see that at the moment I've just used plant foods. Think about the way that you're cutting them. Are you using the bridge? Are you using the claw? And you can also think, oh, that one nearly went away. You can also um, think about colours, getting an array of colours in there as well. So I've now got some pepper and I'm going to make nice thin slices of pepper. The same thickness as the carrots that I used. So we try and get everything even so that not only will it pick on, up on our fork evenly, but the heat will get through it evenly as well. Okay, so I've got those lovely red peppers. Doesn't have to be red, can be any colour that you've got and put them in. If you've got frozen peppers, you can use those too. Okay, it doesn't have to always be fresh veg. Okay, just what you've got in. Here, I've got a little bit of a spring onion. I'm going to use the bridge and then I'm going to claw it. Little pieces. Now, onion is a great one for giving lots of flavor to your pot noodle. Eyes on the knife, remember, all the time. Okay, so already we're mounting up the vegetables and the color that we're getting in our pot noodle. I'm now going to add a few frozen peas that have had time to defrost a little bit. I don't know about your freezer, but I seem to have a lot of opened packets of peas just with a few in them. So it's a great way of using those up. And there you go. Okay, I've got a few little bits of broccoli and I'm just going to trim those because the stalks might be a little bit hard, but I'm just going to get the little florets off the top and I'm going to put those into the container like so. Okay, now this I'm very, very proud of. Spinach grown in our garden. Went and picked this spinach leaf today. What a great way to use it fresh. And I know from bumping into quite a few of you when I've been walking my dog, that you've been great at growing your own vegetables in your back garden. It's been brilliant to talk to some of you as I've bumped into you um, and how proud you are of things that are growing in your own garden. So now's the time to use it. And spinach is the vegetable that just keeps on giving. So you pick it and then another leaf appears. It's just magic. And we're just going to shred this spinach. Absolutely packed, full of vitamin C really good to keep away those infections all right lovely lovely vegetable full of iron it's a really really good one to use and when it's picked straight from your garden you know it's really fresh going in okay so that's all our vegetables well it's all the ones that i'm going to use at the moment and now we're going to talk about protein okay so now you've got to think about your protein all right, which makes our healthy pot noodle so much better than the bought ones because there's hardly any protein in this whatsoever. So what you can use, you can use any meat that is cooked. All right, it, that's the emphasis on the cooked. It can't be raw meat because it won't be cooked enough to get rid of any bacteria. OK, if you put raw meat in here, it makes you very poorly. So any cooked meat, cooked chicken, cooked ham, cooked um, beef, whatever you might have had for your Sunday lunch, maybe. It's a good way of using up some meat uh, or anything that you might have in the sandwich variety, like your sandwich ham, your turkey, your chicken, etc. can go in here. Now, I'm going to use something called tofu, which is made from soya suitable for vegetarians okay and so long as there's nothing else animal in there suitable for vegans as well all right that's been cooked and marinated lightly in some a uh, bit of light soya sauce so they're going to go into my container like so and there we have our protein and now the next thing to think about is flavour. Remember, we've got to substitute all that salty flavour in the pot noodle 
or in your instant noodles a little sachet with something that's going to maybe help your pot noodle taste really good because we don't want something that's bland. So I'm going to use some coriander. Now we used that in the okra curry and I'm going to use a little bit of ginger and a little bit of garlic granules just to start off. All right, so like we've done before, I'm going to just claw the coriander and just shred that. Make sure when you use your vegetables that you do give them a wash. And I know at the moment probably we're doing a lot more washing of everything than we've done before. And the coriander goes in to the pot. And then I've got a little bit of ginger, root ginger. And we're just going to scrape the skin off the ginger. Now that is taking a little bit of time, so I'm just going to get a spoon. About that I'm back got a spoon I'm going to use the back of the spoon to scrape the skin off the ginger which is a really good way of doing it now fresh ginger is really quite strong so you might want to experiment with how much you want to put in and again you can grate it or to perfect those knife skills which you're doing so well you can take a bit of your ginger and just dice it and slice it really finely. Like so. Little claw, eyes on the knife, little bits of ginger to which we're going to add to the pot noodle. Okay. And a little sprinkling of mm, a few garlic herb, uh, garlic granules just on the top. But you can add whatever you like. You know, if you've got parsley growing, add parsley. If you've got some thyme, sprinkle some thyme. If you've got some mixed herbs, just have a go. Just play around with it. Okay, so that's the flavouring. Okay, so now we need to make all of this soft and cook those hard noodles that are at the bottom. Okay, and so I've boiled half a pint or 250 millilitres of water. Now you might need to ask for some help with this because we don't want you to burn yourself. And just to give it a little bit more of a savoury flavour, I've got a stock cube here. Now stock cubes are just a concentration really of herbs and salt again. So because we want to lower that salt, because sometimes we think, oh I really want that food to eat, I love the flavour, but it's the flavour of salt that makes us want to eat it. And maybe now we're growing a, a lot more of our vegetables and we're getting into cooking a bit more since we've been off. It's time to train our, our taste buds in our mouth to like an array of flavours rather than just salty flavours. So I've got this stock cube, but I have cut it into quarters, look. So again, that maths, your fractions. I've cut it into four little cubes and I'm just going to use one little cube to flavour my water just because we've got all those other flavours in there and to keep that salt content down. So we're going to get the boiled water and we're going to crumble the stock cube in there and we're going to give it a stir to help it dissolve. So this brings in your science work about substances that dissolve in water. So while you're dissolving that stock cube, have a think about what other things might dissolve in water. I've just made myself a cup of coffee. I don't have it in there, but if I did, what would I put in my coffee that would also dissolve? So we can bring in lots of our subjects again when we're doing our cooking. Okay, so we've got the dissolved stock cube and then we're literally just going to pour it into our container. Okay, and we're going to shut it tight with a lid or some cling film or a plate, whatever you can. We're going to give it a little shake and we're just going to leave that for a good two to three minutes. 
so that all that water can get into that hard, dry pasta, uh, pasta, noodles to soften them. Okay, so I'll be back in two to three minutes. The pot noodle then has been left and I did leave it a little bit longer because I tried the noodles at the bottom they were still a little bit hard I think because mine are whole wheat noodles they do take a little bit longer to soften okay so you might have to wait a little bit longer if you're using the instant noodles which are perhaps the best ones to use for this um, they will won't take very long at all but you might have to wait up to five minutes so it's all in here it's all been softened and we're going to give it a good mix now I've got my fork and I'm going to mix all the noodles with the vegetables. Everything is still lovely and hot. And we're going to mix all those flavours together. Now at this point, you might want to transfer it to a bowl. If you prefer to eat it out of the bowl, or you can just eat it out of the pot. If you like the um, restaurant in town called Wagamama's, or chopsticks I think you're really gonna like this but even more so because you will have made it so give it a good good stir so we get all those vegetables mixed with all those noodles okay like so right down to the bottom it's very tricky my silly container you might use a, a big jam jar or a jar that's had some pickles in it they're quite good all right and there we have our pot noodle now if you wanted to you can eat it straight like that or if you've got some soya sauce you can get the reduced sugar uh, reduced sugar reduced salt soya sauce or just because you're using a little bit, just a little bit of any of your soy sauce in there to give it that authentic oriental flavour. And let's have a look. Let's have a taste. It smells very fresh. Mmm. Mm. crunchy vegetables soft tofu or your chicken crunchy broccoli lovely fresh herby flavor delicious so your very own healthy pot noodle give it a go also what you could do is once you've made your pot noodle do a bit of artwork create a new logo for your own pot, pot noodle create your own packaging i'd love to see that and anything that you do do please send it to the school facebook page because i love to see photographs of you making these cooking with mrs c recipes at home which a lot of you have already and that's brilliant to know that you're watching them you're learning from them you're adapting them and you're just having a good time at home doing some brilliant cooking so take care for now miss you lots see you soon